In our last video, we did some validation on our user input and that works till now. So the next thing we want to do, I, I want to use the opportunity to introduce you to what we call uh, modules in Python. So a module is a Python code that forms like a library that can be imported into other uh, libraries or other codes to be used. Uh, for example, we imported one here, random. This is an inbuilt Python uh, module that we can import to use. You've also had the opportunity to work with date time. That's another module. Uh, date time that you can import into your own code. So what we are going to be doing is to demonstrate how to create your own module by cutting out this validation here, refactoring a little bit. And of course, we don't need date time. You've already understood how to do that. Cutting out that module and then creating a file here. So new file, new Python file and saying validation. I say yes. And then I'll paste that here. So what this means is I can now import this validation into this auth code. So let's say import validation, which is what we have. And to now run that validation, you know, like we did for random. Let me show you random. Random, we have to now do uh, random, which is what we imported, and then select the particular function inside random that we want to work with. So right now we have just one function here. We are going to be calling that function to fix the error we have in our login. So let's go to login and fix that error by calling that function from the imported module. So this is all we need to do in this case. Now, if I want to validate uh, register here, I can also write that validation here. So validate registration input and say uh, input. So the input here will be a list. And then I'll just, uh, first I'll check if it's a list, a list of inputs. Then I'll check, check each item in the list and be sure they are the correct data types. So this is if I wanted to write a validation for my registration. So now I, I have been able to break down my application into two different modules. I have one here, which is just for validation. And then I have one here, which is just uh, actually the content of my code. So imagine what I can also do. If I was to have a more robust uh, login system, maybe I'm logging in using uh, social authentication or I'm doing some two-factor authentication and so on, I can decide to break this out into its own module. So that login here would not be too big. I mean, this entire file will not be too big and it will only be uh, focused at the things I want to see. Now, it becomes easier to read if you break things out into modules. So we are not going to be writing this. I think it's easy to write. Yeah, we're not going to be writing this. Uh, but you get the idea of validation, so you can try as much as possible to validate. One other thing you can do uh, when it comes to validation, apart from all that I've mentioned, is to validate this specific input. You can check if it is an email address. You can check if first name is a string because it has to be a string. You can check if last name is a string if it has to be a string. You can check if it's not a single letter. I mean, different things you can check. Uh, you can check if password is a strong password. Uh, you can check the length of the password. So you can have criteria for password. You can say, I want your password to only to not be less than eight digits. It must have an uppercase in it. It must have a symbol in it. You can do all that validation, but breaking it out into a different module like I have done here will be the best thing to do so that you don't have too much uh, functions on a single file and it's, it might become harder to debug or to, uh, to read later.